Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have m square divided by m is equals to 5 and we solve this problem for all the values of m. So here uh, first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further, we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and we move towards the solution of this problem from first method so here we have uh, in the first method we use uh, this nice uh, exponential rule you know about that if we have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n so this will be written as a to the power of m minus n according to this rule of exponents uh, we uh, we just rewrite the left hand side of the given equation as in this form so you see here the exponent of this term is one and after applying this rule we move this one to the upsides and it will be written as m to the power of two minus one is equals to five and we have uh, this is this will be written as m to the power of two minus one becomes one is equals to five so this is the value of m which we get here in this first method and now here in the next step we need to verify that is this value of m be the solution or is this value of m be the extraneous root so for verification of this value we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is m square divided by m is equals to 5. So we put this value of m into the left hand side and we see that this will becomes 5 square divided by 5 is equals to 5 and we have uh, this 5 square becomes 25 divided by 5 is equals to 5 and here we need to cancel these terms we get 5 times 5 becomes 25 and we obtain 5 is equals to 5 so this shows that both of the sides are equal it means that the value of m equals to 5 is satisfied over given question statement so we call that the solution set of this problem is m equals to 5 so this is the final answer which we get here from first method and now we again solve this problem from second method so in second method, uh, we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is m square divided by m is equals to 5. This is the our given question statement. And our second method be the uh, very uh, uh, detailed method and here we detailed refine the rules of this equation. Okay, so here in this method, we move this m to the right hand side. It is divided by here when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 5 and we get <clears throat> m square is equals to this will becomes 5 times of m and in the next step we have <clears throat> here uh, we need to move this 5m from right hand side to the left hand side and it will becomes m square minus 5m and <clears throat> this whole equation is equals to 0. And now further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as here we need to take common m and when we take common m we get the remaining values are from here we get m minus from here we get 5 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write m equals to 0 and the second case is we write m minus 5 equals to 0. So this is the first root of the given equation which we get here from second method. And from here we have m is equals to plus 5. This is the second root of the given equation. And in the next step, we need to verify that is these two roots are solution or extraneous root. But here in the first method, we already verified that the value of m equals to 5 is satisfied our given question statement. So this is the solution set of given equation. And now here we just need to verify only m equals to 0. 
so for verification of m equals to 0 we need to copy down uh, given question statement here so that our given question statement is m square divided by m is equals to 5 so here we substitute the value of m is equals to 0 and we check its behavior and when we put this value into the left hand side and it will be written as 0 square divided by 0 is equals to 5 or not this is the our claim and you see here 0 square becomes 0 over 0 form is equals to 5 this shows that uh, the left hand side be the indeterminate form or in other words we say that our left hand side be the undefined form okay so this is the undefined form so if our left hand side is undefined this means that both of the sides are not equal and if both of the sides are not equal we conclude about that m equals to zero is not satisfied our given question statement so we call that m equals to zero be the extraneous root of the given equation okay this is the extraneous root because it does not satisfy our given question statement and we have the solution set of this question is m is equals to 5 only so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos